Guys, welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we have the brand new E-Flight Draco. This is like the most anticipated airplane Fine ever. For a year, <laughs> what, how, I remember seeing the video. They said they've been working on this thing almost two years yep. or close to that. And you know, guys, not disappointed. The first thing is that I'm blown away is, is the size. Yeah, it's I a mean, big it's, airplane. It, in the box, it didn't look that large, but this thing, for what it is, is huge. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing is the details. Mm -hmm. uh, that that seems like E-Flight is and Horizon is go well. They went this. They wanted to get this thing scaled, so they did. They 3D scanned I'm not the say real airplane. I'm not better than that. They, they scanned the plane, yeah. and it's beautiful. It is. And and guys, the more you look at this the more you're gonna notice on it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and, and you really do see it. They put every rivet, everything you could want on it. Even the cockpit, the gauges light up inside of the cockpit. I mean, it's just one of the neatest airplanes you're ever gonna see. And, and you know, we want first, another thing we wanna think is a rising for giving the boozers the opportunity to pre yeah, we got an early Slide one. The early yeah. plane to give our opinions of it, and uh, we really do thank Horizon yeah, for thinking do. of us uh, as a good enough place to show you guys one of these newest, yeah. latest, and greatest and ones. And advertise the airplane for them. So again, thank you, Horizon, for for the thoughts, the way of the boozers. The other thing that I've we we've, we've always now I've been flying airplanes since 1980, and they've always everybody in the world and has tried to make a the best stall plane that anybody's ever seen seen or flown mm -hmm. i am anticipating we haven't flown it yet but i do anticipate this is probably going to be that stall plane that you everybody has been looking for forever <laughs> i mean i'm just you know guys it's it we we haven't flown it but the anticipation. We will. So what do you think? Well, yeah, for, I think it is too. Uh, I, for the right pilot, of course, you got to have the skills in a way to do the maximum this mm -hmm. airplane can do, which I believe that's that your flying skills, and I think that's why Horizon has given us this plane is because of your your flying skills. So I really anticipate the ability of the airplane to the ability of a good pilot, a young pilot that's got all his uh, reaction times and and can think about what the plane can do. And that's what I want to do. And I think that's what you guys are wanting to see. Mm -hmm. So you got anything else? No, uh, it, you know, guys, the, the plane looks fantastic. If you want to go back and look at some of our other videos, we already have several out on this airplane. We're just trying to give you the full range of our experience with the model, but um, the performance flight's going to be already out. We've got an assembly video programming this airplane onto your receiver. So if you have any questions that aren't answered in this exact video, make sure you check out the whole series on this airplane because we've got a lot of videos now yeah. uh, about it. Uh, this is this is just one of our favorite looking airplanes this year. So uh, by now we've flown it when you've seen it in this one. But uh, well, we've flown a lot of good airplanes this year. <laughs> I've spent, and, and it's only. Uh, March, the end of March. Right. I mean, what's coming what's out? What's coming but, now? Man, I tell you what, guys, uh, the the uh, the the thoughts and everything that these manufacturers are trying to give you in quality is just mind blowing. Mm -hmm. And and I will give credit to Horizon for probably being uh, with this airplane, really giving the best they can and giving you a excellent product so let's get out the field and fly this thing let's Leslie. do it I man i can't wait anymore let's do it all right guys here we are out at the field for our maiden flight papa's got the uh anemometer i think is what it's called now we're gonna say we're we're wanting to say that you don't want to be afraid of the wind right this, this is a good wind plane. the wind is going to help this airplane do what it's supposed to do mm -hmm. And, let, and right now we're at set almost eight miles an hour, pretty close, pretty to, right close straight, to the runway. The, the runway, 
we'd show you the flag, but uh, it's gusting between five to eight miles an hour right at the present moment, just so you guys know what we're gonna do. Okay, Wesley. All right, so let's do out. this. Hey, it's pointed the wrong direction. Okay. It's pointed the wrong direction. Oh, never seen that before. <laughs> first time for everything, right? <laughs> yeah, first time for everything. It's a little weird driving in reverse. Can you take my, it off backwards? My, yeah, maybe. <laughs> my brain does not think that way, <laughs> reversing it in so. an airplane. All right, let's see. Let's turn the throttle back the other direction. We're at I'm going to go uh, full rate everything. Uh, and we are set up by the book rates guy, so we have the uh, book rates for the down elevator mix in the manual. Here we go. We have range checked also, but here goes nothing. We're about five miles an hour, six miles an hour taking off. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing, man. Nothing fancy. That's just a nothing regular fancy. Takeoff. I'm being easy. Six this is our maiden. AS3X is working beautifully. I would like some up trim though. Like I say guys, this is the Maiden, so we're not going, going to try crazy. to show you all the crazy stuff. Yeah. And what, this is Wesley's first flight on it, so he's got to get used to it. That's 10 miles an hour. I mean, it's now it's gusting from between 3 and 10 miles an hour, okay. just so you know. So we're on 6S power. Perfect it feels pretty good the, right now. I'm I'd like to. This is the perfect win for this airplane. Yeah, I'd like to push the battery back a little bit, actually, if I could do anything. All right, I'm going to go full flaps. Oh, I forget there's a brake, so the prop stops. I need to put a little bit of uh, power in it. <laughs> Six miles an hour right now is what you're looking at. <laughs> Just so you know how many... Six miles an hour into the wind. Let's see, I'm gonna add a little bit of trim into my throttle now. You wanna push that battery back or are you gonna leave it like it is? I want it to where the prop never turns off. So oh. we're gonna add a little bit of throttle in. Okay. That's only four miles an hour taking off, guys. Oh, look at this. Was that full flaps? Yes, okay. full flaps. Full flaps. This is where I'm gonna have the most fun with this. Now, I do predict that it's gonna take off shorter than that. Oh yeah. But you're being gentle. I'm being right gentle now. with it right now, kind of scale flying. We're still, we're about four miles an hour now. Oh, four miles an hour. It, again. Oh. it takes a little bit to get, get used to the driving in driving reverse. <laughs> ah, isn't that fun? That is fun. That is fun, wow. Wow, Horizon and, and the di designer come up with a new thing for model airplanes, <laughs> did they not? I don't I, think you can do I'm a gas I'm kind of curious, what does it do if you do it in flight? Oh, uh, you better get up there. You better get up there. Oh, oh it's weird. <laughs> you need a bunch of up elevator. It sounds crazy. Okay, we're going to do it again. Well, I want to see what it's like. Well, but, Hey, we're trying this thing out, guys. I uh, know. It makes some weird noises. Get, get, get up there. Okay, he's gonna do it again. Power off, reverse. Oh man, oh. <laughs> I don't think that was what it's meant to do. It's weird. I just wanted to see. Oh, I, I hadn't seen anybody do it and I'm curious. It, it makes, makes a, a hell of, of a lot of noise. It sounds like a reverse fan, but it, uh, it makes the nose go down and the tail go up, right? <laughs> yeah. You gotta hold a lot of up elevator in it. This is about seven miles an hour into the breeze here. That's a seven mile an hour breeze right straight into it. <laughs> Getting used to that, that's the weirdest thing to get used to. Oh, I don't, it, I turns don't it turns the wrong way when you put it in reverse too. <laughs> so zero flaps right now, guys. Let's go for a short takeoff. I'm gonna hold it with a little this bit of is, elevator. This is at nine miles an hour. <laughs> That's no flaps. Yeah. The roll rate is kind of slow. Wow. I like it with uh, full everything. But you know, this isn't the kind of airplane you get to do rolls and stuff. You can, but you're seeing what I, it's made to do right here. It's made to land. I'm anticipating if you ever got something like a 15, 20 mile an hour. Oh, you'd wind. land straight down. You got, I think this is going to be the first It's so I've ever smooth, seen though. To be able to land right straight down. It's smooth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it, well, number one, it's the right size. We talk about size all the time. If you get too small, 
you got to get that right size to penetrate the wind, wind. And, and, and the weight. And I think that's number two that they've got right on this one. It's actually the size. And it is a very fun model to fly. It's, it's the, the thing that I'm trying to get across, it's not the perfect weather right now. It's not bad, but you know, you can have a good time whether it's windy or it's bumpy, because it's kind of windy and kind of bumpy right now, but this plane does not care. AS3X is making it nice and smooth. This is almost eight miles an hour. Eight miles an hour. That was half flaps. And it could be a docile airplane to fly. You don't have to be a, a no. pilot that's got your hair on fly. No, this, this could be, be a, a second plane even. Yeah, this could be a great second plane. So far, it really doesn't have any bad tendencies. You know, you don't want to get too nuts with the stole. There's not a lot of wind right now. I'd like That's to land it five tail miles first, an hour. Five. like the real thing. Yeah, but you, you know. There's the wind. There it is. That's, it's only eight. Eight miles an hour is all that, eight and a half. Eight and a half, six. I mean, it's just gusting back and forth. <laughs> I'd like about a 20 mile an hour headwind with this, to be honest, and yeah, you would have yeah, some real fun. Okay, you're up to nine miles an hour right here. So if you want to try to, I don't think he was exactly into the wind when you was trying to. Well, it just right? kind of comes and well, goes it comes today. comes and goes. It's not one of those steady winds. It's because right now we're at seven, but it's been down to four. I'm just having a ball with it. I know my timer's going off, but we have uh, telemetry, and I have a feeling we've got a lot of battery left. Well, you haven't really been flying it that -uh. hard. Let's do a, a full speed pass. Hadn't got to see, see that yet. how fast yet. it does. Into the wind, straight and level. Eight miles an hour. Well, it's not, it's not -uh. a slouch. Good time though. You're at nine miles an hour now. Dumping flaps. Get it stopped. Constant nine. Woo. Hey, That's testing a, them landing gear. Test out those shocks. Hey, well. What? You gonna land it out in the grass? I have no idea. Is the grass cut? Yeah, on the other, about Does it matter feet. with this? No, but <laughs> show them it lands in the grass. All right. Lars is not known for having our best grass out here. Well, it's springtime and it's weeds and I mean, but it's rough out there, guys. It's not. It's very rough here, out I there. Know, oh, by oh. no means. And land it and take it off. I mean, there you go. Guys, it'll do anything. I mean, you don't have to have any kind of, of a sculpture no. grass to fly this thing on. Those big old tires, and it's got suspension. Even the tail wheel has suspension. I mean, look at this. Wesley's landed right straight for us. Let's see what our uh, battery time is at here. I've got it on my... Uh... This is the cool thing, guys. I have... Uh... What do you call it? <laughs> Can't think right now. We've got our smart and safe and everything else here. It's a typical Horizon hobby plane, so we can actually go in here and check our battery without even having to go over there and get the plane out. I've got to get to the right screen, though. So give me a second here. Getting there, getting there, getting there. It's here somewhere. There it is. We're at 384 a sail. We can make one more takeoff and landing, and then we're going to have to come on back down. That's close enough. That was, well, that was four miles an hour cross with. Cross with. It just doesn't care. That's the fun part about this. Well, if you're ever looking for a plane that anybody could fly in a lot of wind, here she is. I guarantee you this is it. If you're afraid of the wind, this airplane will make you a believer in wanting to fly in the wind. 
Oh yeah. Windy days where you're gonna have the most fun. That, that's All what right. I'm predicting. We're calling her good. I'm gonna go half lap, come in for a wheel land. Well, it just died it's, to four, it's just four one of the miles most, an hour. It's just such a forgiving airplane. Boing. It, it takes it. You can bounce it, it don't hurt it a bit. What a plane. What a, what a plane. plane. What do we call it? A machine? A machine. A machine. Uh, I had full rate everything that whole yeah, time. Yeah. I liked it. So, we'll see y'all back at the bench for our final thoughts on this maiden flight. Guys, maiden flight's in the books. Fun airplane, as we knew it was going to be. If Not you're disappointed, was it? No. No, it's it is a it's, very docile airplane though, honestly. I mean, for you guys that are not like you know, the the super awesome pilots, I know, you know, uh, you guys that are newer, you're going to be able to fly this airplane and you're going to have a good time and you shouldn't be tearing it up. It's got great suspension struts. It's it's very gift forgiving. It's a large wing area, so I mean, you have to really try to stall it and make it fall out. Right. So, I mean, it's 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 a very good intermediate airplane. It is. But at the same time, it's got things built into it where it will go nuts. It can. Yes. Now, the other thing I want to say is that, as we mentioned in the video, that wind is your friend. Uh -huh. And all you guys that don't like to fly in the wind or gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning to beat the wind, you're going to be saying, dang, it's not blowing. It's today. not blowing much, yeah. This is the airplane that you will want to fly in the wind. In the wind, yeah. And you don't care which way the wind's blowing because it'll take off, in, which we were going to show. Oh, yeah. It'll probably take off in two feet. Yeah, and it'll, it'll probably land, land in, two, in feet two feet if the so wind's blowing. you really blowing. don't need a runway. Now, that's the whole thing with this airplane. Right. I mean, it is a wind machine. It is a docile machine. It is an overall machine. I mean, <laughs> machine. I, I mean, it just does, it can do mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can't, that's what I want to get over to everybody, is that this airplane can go from... Mild to wild. There you, there go. you go. What can we say? Mild to wild. But, uh... Now, the... the, the it is pricey. And you but, get a lot of airplane for the money, though. But you pay for quality. Right. You right. Pay, pay for all the engineering that yeah. went into this and for what fun it can be. Right. I, you know, I saw a lot of guys, and I want to kind of address this. There's a lot of guys gawking that it's $600. Um, well, at the time of release, I, check the link below if you want to know how much it is currently. But at time of release, $600. But like, look at the carbon fiber landing gear with shock absorbers I mean, and a shock absorbing on, tail. There's scoops cut in here. Every rivet, every panel line is on it. It's got lights all over it. We haven't showed you lights yet. A little bright to show off LEDs right now, but it has a light controller in it. I mean, you got everything you want. The instrument panel lights up in this. That's right. How much you does get fun a lot cost? for what you get. You can go to Disneyland for one day and pay as much fun as I'm going to get out of <laughs> That's this. That's right. You know what the heck? <laughs> I mean, and and you should have this plane for a lot more time than one visit to visit Disneyland. So you know, guys, uh, maybe you need to see one at the field or whatever. Right. But you really, really, you guys really need to look at this one because it is is the total machine. This is the nicest foam airplane I've ever seen. As far as the details and the quality of everything they've used in it, and I hope you guys can see it in the build video and things like that. I mean, this really is one of the highest quality airplanes keep, I've ever seen. I keep, you know, we've done this on several E-Flight airplanes, but the way they're attaching the wings. Oh yeah on everything now. Yeah. I mean, um, it, it, Four half turn bolts on this one takes the wings on and off. There's no connections of any kind other than that. You slide the wing on, clip it in, put the four screws in and you're done. And they're half turn screws. Well, and that's this not only this yeah. airplane, but the P-51. P-51, the, e, the uh, FW-190, FW they just snap the wing halves on. I mean, they just on. keep the engineers at E-Flight are really trying to push this envelope to where it's easy. easy to transport the airplane and easy to put it together when you get here. I mean, this is a big airplane, but you can, one button takes the tail off. Well, you could put this Four airplane in this, a you small could put in a car. SUV. You could put this in a this small is, car. I mean, yeah. Taking yeah. a port. So, I mean, it looks big, but at the same time, with the engineering that goes into this airplane, 
you got the ability to, to transport mm -hmm. it in a, a, a smaller, smaller vehicle. vehicle. Well, guys, like always, you know, amazing. Uh, we haven't finished yet. This is just yeah, the this is just one. Yep. Uh, as soon as Wesley gets some more flights on this thing, I think, and, and we want 20 miles an hour. Yeah, we want a windy day. <laughs> we too. want 20 miles an hour instead. And on this video, the highest we ever got was 10. Right. So anyway. Well, if you've decided to get a Draco, check out the link down in the description. We are a Horizon Hobby affiliate. If you buy through our link, we make a little small commission and it doesn't cost you anything. Help support the channel. So, thank you, Horizon, for <laughs> believing in the boozers. Yep, we we can't say it enough. Thank you so much. And uh, we're gonna see you guys in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, and get out there and fly with your friends.